we're going to continue talking about finding the inverse of a function. And um, as we get started here, I've got the vertex form of a parabola, of a, of a quadratic. Um, and when we want to move from here, it's pretty straightforward to, um, to switch your x and y. And then solve for y. That was a plus sign. Um, I can then subtract k, x minus k, divide by a. Then I can take the square root of both sides. Um, equals y minus h. And then I would go through here, and I'm going to um, make this a little easier for me. I can then add h to both sides. And that, this, this one down here, is the, is the inverse of that function up here. Um, how it, it is a little more difficult, however, when you're given something and it's in standard form for a quadratic and not in vertex form. Okay, so that's what I want to look at this time, is how do we complete the square? Um, and your options are either to, um, to complete the square before you switch x and y, or you can switch x and y and then complete the square. And it doesn't matter to me, but the goal is to solve for um, it, the goal is to solve for y um, once you've switched x and y. So let's see if that if that makes sense. So if I switch them, I say x is equal to two y squared minus twelve y plus nineteen. I need to get basically I need to just get back to that vertex form where I have um, well. It's not vertex form. I need to get, I need to be able to get to solve for y. So I'm going to um, complete the square. I'm going to factor out a 2. Okay, this is what I have, but if notice I'm adding 2 box, so then I have to subtract 2 box from the same side, or I can um, add it to the other side. So notice this. This line right, this line that I just wrote is the same, this line that I just wrote here is the same uh, uh, as the line above, except I've now added two box, and then I'm subtracting two box. Okay, so when I do that, my next step is this becomes y minus 3 squared. I took half of, half of 6y gave me, half of 6 gave me 3, then 3 squared goes in my box right here, and that's how I know to put a 9 here, which means I put a 9, oh, did that show up? Uh, right there, um, which gives me plus 19 minus 18. And so now I've got this in the form x is equal to 2 times y minus 3 squared plus 1. And at this point, I'm back to where I started this whole video. So let's, but I'll continue. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and solve for y. But it's a lot easier. I just need to subtract the 1, divide by 2, take the square root, and then add 3. Okay, and showing that last little bit, I end up with x minus 1 over 2 is equal to y minus 3 squared. Take the square root of both sides, and then we add 3. And so we have x minus 1 over 2 plus 3 is equal to y. And that's the inverse of the original problem. So when they give it to you um, in standard form, completing the square is really the best way, or somehow getting it to vertex form and then manipulating from there is the best way to find the inverse.